Good afternoon, church family. Today is Monday, September 28th, the last Monday in September, and I am glad to greet you this morning. Thank you for joining in so often. I know that every week we have an update, and I want you to understand that these updates are intentional. The things that I tell you aren't just filler. I'm really choosing each of the things that I'm saying to you, so I hope that it helps. I hope this is something that's valuable to you, and I hope that you'll continue to tune in. But thank you for tuning in today. Uh, yesterday, we had a great day in worship. It was um, just a wonderful time to be together. I began a new sermon series on the family, and so I was thankful to do that, uh, to be able to do that. And our song service was wonderful. We had a time of prayer for one of our families. And so it just a great, all around a great day. We had 164 in worship, uh, which is still about 100 less than uh, than we had before the COVID-19 restrictions were put in place back in March. Now, the reason why I tell you this is there are still about 100 people who normally would be in our worship service who are not for some reason. Perhaps they're part of the at-risk group, and so they're intentionally um, staying away. Maybe they're part of the uh, 55 or so, 60 or so that tune in regularly on uh, on our live stream, either on our YouTube channel or on our website, or now new on our Facebook Live uh, broadcast. But uh, however they're tuning in, uh, we want you to know that they're there. Some others may have just gotten out of the habit of going to church. And so what I'd like you to do, I'd like you to reach out to folks. If you miss them on Sunday, don't do it as a way of guilt, but do it as a way of reaching out and saying, hey, look, we miss you. We hope that you're doing well. We love you, and you're part of our church family, and we're grateful for you, and, uh, and we're praying for you. So uh, that would be a wonderful way to, to maximize. That's one of the reasons why I give you these numbers, 164 in worship, so that you know how far off our pace we still are because of the COVID restrictions. We also had 122 in Sunday school, which was an incredible number. That's the highest we've had since we've come back. And so we're grateful for that. I am loving seeing all the kids that are here. Uh, they are just so much fun. You know, the kids are the life and the future of a church. And so uh, it is wonderful to see them uh, participating. I'm also excited that they're able to come down front for the kids' message, the kids' sermon uh, each week. It's been fun seeing them the last two weeks. And so uh, just what a great uh, what a great joy to see them. And since I'm talking about kids, uh, I want to give a shout out to Nick Andrews. Today is Nick's birthday. Happy birthday, buddy. I hope you have a great, great day. So uh, uh, the reason why I did that, by the way, is for the last two weeks, he's told me that his birthday was September 28th. And so I just want to make sure that he knows that I remember and that his birthday is special. Uh, also, Saturday, we had a work day here at the church. Thanks to everybody who came out. I was not here, but I understood that we had a lot of people who came out and did a lot of things. Uh, I see the results of their work, and uh, I am grateful for them being out here. So if you were a part of that work day, thank you for doing it. We can really tell it looks great on our church building. And that leads me to one other thing. Uh, I, I'd ask you, uh, if you would, not just those that were here. I'm not speaking to them. I'm speaking to all of us who belong to First Baptist if you see something that's out of place, please pick it up and put it away. If it's trash, throw it in the trash. Uh, if it's something that uh, you don't like the looks of, find a place for it. Uh, this is uh, our church building. It's really dedicated to the service and the worship of the Lord. It ought to look nice. We want our guests, those who come in off the street, those who come from our community, those who are family members and friends, that we want them to come in and really enjoy the surroundings. Really enjoy this building. And so if you see something that's not neat, not straightened up, just take the initiative and take care of it. Even if you throw it away, uh, just let's take care of those things. Let's take care of all the things that God has entrusted to us. Also, I'd like to petition you to do something seriously. Uh, we're about a month away from election day, and uh, things are more um, chaotic in our nation than I've ever seen them in my, in my life. And I'd ask you, would you please pray for our nation? Pray for the uh, sanctity of our election process. One of the great 
blessings of being an American is our ability to participate in government through voting and, and also through the peaceful transition from one administration to another. And so if you would, please pray for our elections. Pray that um, they would be tallied in a, in a right way and in an accurate way and in a timely way and that, that all parties involved would uh, accept the, uh, the, the true, the accurate tally of an election. And so please just pray. Uh, we, are, we are dangerously close um, uh, to really seeing some upheaval. Uh, we're already seeing pockets of it, but um, it's possible. So please pray. And if you'd like to, join us on Wednesday nights. We pray together as a church family on Wednesday nights at 6.30 in our fellowship hall. We attempt to socially distance well. And so please come out and be a part of that. But if you don't come on Wednesday nights and join us, please pray for our nation one way or another. And also pray for our church's mission. Uh, that is to love God, love people, and make disciples. You know, Jesus told us to go into all the world and make disciples of every nation. And so that's not just our church's mission, that's every Christian's mission. But I'd invite you to be a part of it, and it starts with praying. Jesus said, pray, beseech the Lord of the harvest, that he would thrust out laborers into the fields. And so let's pray to the Lord that he would send laborers among this world, and that we would see and be serious about this mission that God has given to us. And then finally, let me just give you some dates. Uh, this coming Sunday, October the 4th, uh, we will uh, be having our uh, Communion Sunday. We'll celebrate the Lord's Supper on that Sunday morning, so I invite you to come out. Uh, the Supper will be uh, distributed as we have the last couple of times, and that is in a self-contained, all the elements will be self-contained. They'll be in a, their own cup. None of our hands will touch it. Uh, we'll pass those out, and so um, it, it's, a, I, I think, an appropriate way for us to continue to celebrate the Lord's table. And so I invite you to come out. That's this Sunday, October the 4th. A week from this Wednesday on October the 7th, in our sanctuary at 6.30 in the evening, we'll have our fourth quarter church conference. Uh, specific to this conference, we'll be looking at the 2021 uh, budget recommendation that comes from our uh, finance committee. And so this is important. You come out and be a part of that. I'm grateful. If I don't say it on that Wednesday, let me say it now. I'm grateful to our finance committee and all the others who had uh, part in our uh, putting together this budget recommendation. It has gone before the deacons, which is our normal way of, of, thing, of seeing things and or doing things and uh, it'll come before our church a week from this Wednesday. So please come, pray for that as well. Uh, let's be a part of what God is doing through His local church here at First Baptist. And then finally, I'd like you to know that we are about one month away from beginning our Mission Emphasis Month. This means several things. One, it means that throughout the, the, the Sundays of the month of November, I'll be preaching on missions. And so it's important to me that our church remain focused on what Jesus has called us to do. And so we will look at that together through the month of November. But also it means a kickoff of our Mission First offering. The Lord has blessed us through this extra free will offering that goes completely to missions. And, uh, and so this is where our Lottie Moon Christmas offering comes from. This is where our Annie Armstrong Easter offering comes from. This is where our North Carolina missions offering comes from. It's where our gift to the North Carolina Baptist Children's Home comes from. It's where our gift that goes to our Cooperative Christian Ministries, which is here in Concord, it's where that comes from. And then it's also where part of our funding for our church missions comes from. And so I'd ask you to even now to begin to pray. Uh, ask the Lord what He'd have you to give, and then give exactly what, you, what He tells you to give. Here's what I believe. I believe that if we all ask and then we all obey, we'll give as a church exactly what the Lord would have us to give. And ultimately, that's what we want. We want to do the Lord's will. So you say, what's the theme of today's update? Well, I hope you've understood. It's my asking you to pray. Pray for our nation. Pray for our church. 
pray for our missions offering, and pray that we would do what Jesus has called us to do until he returns for us, and I hope that's soon. Church family, I love you. Thank you for tuning in today. I hope that this meant something to you. I really want these things to be um, meaningful. I want them to be uh, worth the time and effort that we spend, but also that you spend watching it. And so thank you for joining us. May God bless you. I hope that you know that I love you, but I hope you know that Jesus loves you more. God bless you. Have a great day.